What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Rockstar NFT. We got some NFT news here for you today. We're on theblock.com, which is a different website. However, before we get into it, I just want to say I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and research before you invest. Remember, these videos are only for educational purposes. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that bell for all notifications. Please leave positive comments. Helps educate people positively in the world of cryptocurrencies. So, widely mocked NFT project, Pixel Moon raises $8 million in seed round, including Animoca Brands. So, that's the artwork. Pretty interesting stuff. Looks kind of retro, like that old school, kind of like hand-drawn flash animation. Pretty cool stuff. Now, Pixel Moon's art reveal for its $70 million NFT sale in February 2022 was described as terrible, boring, and hilariously ugly. Now, since then, the project has been trying to turn its fortunes around. By September of 2022, the project had replaced the artwork, brought in a new leadership team, and outlined a new roadmap. Then in October of 2023, it launched casual side-scroller game Kevin the Adventurer, which was something that boosted the NFT project's floor price and the lowest price on offer from 0.35 Ethereum or $800 to peak of 1.85 Ethereum or $4,200. So that's quite the substantial price jump. Pretty cool. Now, its latest move in an $8 million seed investment from prominent investors including Animoca Brands, Delphi Ventures, and Foresight Ventures, which is the parent company of the block. The funding round also attracted participation from investors including Amber Group, Nine Gag, founder Ray Chan, and others. So pretty cool stuff. Now, what is Pixel Moon? Well, it's a decentralized gaming brand consisting of mythical creatures of the same name and is owned by Pixel Moon Labs, which is a subsidiary under Singapore-based Web3 Venture Capital Liquid Liquid X Studios. So this is right here. You can subscribe, put your email in there if you want to check that out. Now uh, this dude here, I can't pronounce his name, whatever, he's the chief executive officer of Pixel Moon and co-founder of Liquid X, told the block that Pixel Moon is currently developing four games, including Pixel Pals, which slated for release this month. All four games will feature the company's representative Pixel Moon monsters, he added. Now, within its intellectual property fractionalization system, Mon Protocol Pixel Moon said it's distributed across the ownership of of a trademarkable game character across NFT holders, giving them rights to the IP that grows alongside the community and the game's ecosystem. And the decentralized IP system that Mon Protocol is establishing, which is a significant threshold, because it is going to empower creative communities and IP core fan bases to participate actively in the long-term success of consumer franchises, taking full advantage of true digital ownership and network effects. This is what the co-founder said, Yatsu of those brands. Pixel Moon said that the team plans to use the newly raised capital to boost development across the portfolio of casual and mid-core games. All right, that's going to do it for this quick video here on Rockstar NFT. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We'll talk to you in the next video. Have a great night.